Hi guys, Emily here from the Spout Springs Library. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying summer. It's been a very hot one. Um, if you are looking for some books to kind of wind down summer with, new books that you haven't read before, um, I have picked five that are new to us, ones we very recently added to our collection that you might be interested in. If you are a fan of graphic novels, or science, or you're looking for something that's a really quick read, then you might like The Only Living Girl. Um, this is a sequel to the book, The Only Living Boy, and our main character's name is Zandra. She goes by Z. The city she lives in, um, the residents are being poisoned by some unknown element. So Z, along with her friends Eric, who is the only living boy from the first book, and Morgan, uh, go on a quest to try and get some help. Um, they find that the only place that they can get help from is from the deadly catacombs beneath the invisible city. Um, so they have this really perilous, exciting journey to go on, but they quickly discover that that's not the only dangers that they face. There are other outside forces they've got to watch out for too. So really good, fast paced, action movie type of book um, and it's a really really good one all right if you are looking for books that are about sports or more like real life drama then you might be interested in golden arm um, our main character in this book is named lazarus he goes by laz um, laz is a really shy kid he stutters sometimes when he speaks so he doesn't really like talking a lot in school um, but Laz is a really good baseball player. Pitching is his strong point. Um, so he gets this opportunity to go pitch for kids um, on the other side of town, the rich kids. Um, and because of that, he gets a chance to be drafted into the major leagues, which is a huge deal. Um, Laz starts to feel though that he has to make a choice. He has this really good golden opportunity but on the flip side of that, he feels that he might have to kind of leave his family um, in the lurch. He lives um, in an area that has some problems with poverty and drugs, and he's worried that his younger brother, Antonio, might be going down the wrong path. So um, Laz is in a tough spot. He feels he's got to choose between following his dreams or staying and taking care of his family. Um, so it's a really good um, book for, for you guys who are looking for something a little more serious um, and dramatic, but also with some baseball thrown in. Okay, so if you like mysteries, murder mysteries, um, music, then Spin would be a good choice for you to check out. Spin starts um, with this DJ. Her name is uh, Paris Accord. Her DJ name is DJ Parsec. Um, and she's kind of rising up in her local music, com music community. People are becoming more aware of her. She's getting a little fame. Um, and then she is found murdered, dead on top of her turntables. Um, the two people who find her are really interesting. They're kind of like sworn enemies. They hate each other. One of them is Kaya, who was Paris's best friend pre-fame. Paris kind of dropped her when she started getting um, some notoriety. Um, the other person's name is Fuse. Um, Fuse is a super fan of DJ Parsecs, and Kaya and Fuse just happen to find her together. The case goes cold very quickly. The police can't find a lot of clues or leads. So Fuse and Kaya, as well as the fandom of DJ Parsec, feel they have to be the ones to solve the case. It's very gripping, a page-turning read. Um, and it will, and it's one that will keep you up at night because it's, you just can't stop reading. Okay. So if you like books that are fantasy driven, um, origin stories, then you've got a really good new one to read. Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Um, it's been described as Wicked meets the Little Mermaid. And you get to find out a little bit more about that sea witch who took Ariel's voice, the Little Mermaid's voice. Um, the book starts about a girl named Evie. Evie lives in a small fishing uh, town near the sea. Um, she's 
kind of an outcast in her community and she's really down in when we first meet her. Her best friend Anna has recently died. She's in mourning for Anna. She's really depressed. Um, but one day she's walking along the beach. Evie sees someone who looks freakishly like Anna walking towards her. Um, so these two girls become good friends. They meet two princes um, who fall in love with each of them. And Evie thinks her happily ever after has arrived. But she finds out that there are some pretty dark secrets that her new friend um, is hiding from her, the new Anna. Um, she desperately needs Evie's help. And to help her, Evie goes down a path that once she starts on it, she can't get off it. So it's a really good um, origin story. Um, and it's sea, beach, ocean related. So good one for summer. So my last pick is for you guys who are looking for kind of light-hearted, romantic books. Like if you like Jenny Hans, To All the Boys I Loved Before, you uh, might want to check out Casey West's new book, Moment of Truth. And Casey West in her own right has written a lot of these kind of romantic fiction uh, books. So in this book, we have our main character, Hadley. She's 16. She's a very confident person. She knows who she is. Um, she's a swimmer. She's a good swimmer. She's going to go to college on a swimming uh, scholarship. So um, she has to work really hard, but to her, it's definitely worth it. And she is at a swim meet or practice one day when this person walks in who is dressed up to look like this famous movie star whose name's Heath. Um, he's a famous action star and this person, we don't know who he is, dressed up like him and kind of crashed the meet. Um, and you would think this would be the cute kind of meeting that starts the romance off, but actually no. Uh, Hadley is super annoyed at this guy for, for ruining her swim practice. So um, she finds out a little more. She finds that this person, this mysterious person has been crashing a lot of different events dressed as the movie star Heath. So she wants to figure out who he is. She gets curious um, and she does a little digging. She gets a list of suspects. One of them is her ex-boyfriend um, of the boys around town who this might be. Um, Hadley has to kind of face some truths about herself, maybe that are not, you know, the nicest qualities of, of her personality, but it's a really good, lighthearted, romantic summer read. All right, guys, I hope you get to check some of those out. We also have some tried and true favorites. If you're a Hunger Games fan, Suzanne Collins has written a new Hunger, Hunger Games book um, that you might want to check out. We've got that in our collection. Cassandra Clare um, has written a new book. She's starting a new series. It's a huge one um, that you might want to check out too. So I hope you're able to peruse our catalog and you can reach that online at hallcountylibrary.org. Um, and there is a uh, link that has new titles. So you can just scroll and see some of the new stuff we've got. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.